Hi, this is Carl, a meteorologist at the National Weather Service in Grand Forks, North Dakota, with a weather and climate briefing. This briefing will cover what occurred during the month of December 2017 and give an outlook into January 2018 and beyond. If you remember, December 2017 started out very mild. This chart shows the departure from normal temperatures from Grand Forks Airport. The red column signified days which were warmer than normal. The number on the top of the column is how much warmer than normal that day was. Other than December 5th and December 6th, this was a consistent warm stretch. Temperatures took a swing to the colder side on December 20th and stayed there through the end of the month. The blue column signified days which were cooler than normal. There was a heavy snow event on December 4th, which brought 7 to 11 inches of snow from Crookston to the Lake of the Woods region. This was followed by a blizzard. Another long-duration snow event occurred from December 20th to December 21st. This time, 6 to 9 inches of snow fell from New Rockford to Mayville to just north of Park Rapids. During the December 20th to 31st cold stretch, Park Rapids had its coldest temperature at 34 degrees below zero. Record low highs were set at Grand Forks and Fargo on December 30th. That means the high in Fargo only got to 15 degrees below zero that day. When adding the warm and cold stretches together, December averaged colder than normal from every site but Devil's Lake. Baudette had the coldest departure from normal at minus four. Here are the precipitation totals for December measured at the National Weather Service in Grand Forks and Fargo. These values were pretty close to normal. Cold season precipitation is not measured at Devil's Lake, Baudette, or Park Rapids. This slide shows how much snow was measured in December at Grand Forks and Fargo. Let's take a look at temperature trends of 2017. These are monthly departure from normal temperatures in 2017 for Fargo, North Dakota. The months in red are months that have been warmer than normal and the months in blue have been colder than normal. Most of the months in 2017 at Fargo have been above normal, but December did end up a little below normal. This slide looks at monthly precipitation departures from normal at Fargo through 2017. The months in brown have been drier than normal and the months in green have been wetter than normal. Most months in 2017 have been drier than normal at Fargo, including December. When you take the average temperature for all of 2017 and compare it to normal, 2017 was a warm year. If you remember, 2016 was the warmest year on record dating back to 1881. 2017 will go down as a tie for the eighth warmest year on record at Fargo or 1.7 degrees above normal. 19.25 inches of precipitation was measured at the National Weather Service in Grand Forks in 2017 and 15.23 inches were measured in Fargo. This is 7.35 inches below normal for Fargo, which is just outside the top 10 driest years on record. Now let's take a look ahead into the month of January. January is the second month of the meteorological winter. During January, there is very little change in normal highs and lows. The winter months are the driest months of the year. Typically, less than an inch of liquid precipitation falls during the month of January. You can look forward to gaining about an hour day length from January 1st to the 31st. So what types of weather can occur in January? Most of the events in January involve some sort of winter weather, strong wind, or extreme cold. This is the Climate Prediction Center's January temperature outlook. For eastern North Dakota and the northwestern quarter of Minnesota, they're forecasting below normal temperatures which are shown by the area in blue. This is the precipitation outlook for January from the Climate Prediction Center. For the eastern half of North Dakota and most of Minnesota, they are expecting below normal precipitation, which is shown in the area in brown. For the temperature outlook over January, February, and March, the Climate Prediction Center expects colder than normal temperatures to continue. As far as the January, February, March precipitation outlook, the Climate Prediction Center is going with wetter than normal conditions, and that is shown in this area in green. And that concludes this weather and climate briefing. Thanks for listening.